Hey everyone, welcome back. KJ4YZI Ham Radio Concepts, part two of the Autonomous Satellite Tracker. I'm gonna recap and show you what I have because I forgot half the things I ordered. I have boxes everywhere here and I haven't had time to even open the boxes. So if you think, well, I've been sitting here playing with stuff, no, we're gonna open them together and uh, see what I have and what I ordered. Now, the weather outside in Florida here at, uh, towards the end of September is spectacular, September 22nd. And let me tell you, it's like high 70s, low 80s. My gosh, it's beautiful outside. Constant 15 mile an hour breeze. So I've been doing stuff outside and getting some other things done at family and friends house and trying not let YouTube you know, ruin my life here. So uh, it's been a little hectic around here, but we're getting under control. Now I got the satellite tracker part two. One thing to make a comment about is the original design that I showed you on the papers for the satellite tracker. Elwood has said he did an updated version that uses not the Arduino or Arduino, but the Espressive chip, which doesn't require having to use the Wi-Fi hotspot or the little you know, portable hotspot and some other stuff. And it's cheaper that way of doing it, but unfortunately I didn't see that and I already started the video and bought these parts. So if you already bought the parts, you can hopefully get some ideas with what I'm doing or how I'm doing this, uh, which is not my idea, it's Elwood's and that's his design, I'm just making it in a video. But uh, if you're looking for the parts, check out the website from the creator and see how to do it with a couple part changes to make it a little bit easier to use and more affordable, uh, saving a few bucks on different parts. So let's see what I got here and uh, let's recap so we can get back in the groove of the satellite tracker. Let's take a look at what we have here in the parts. Believe it or not, I have not opened any of these, so I hope I have what I ordered. So we'll start with the box here that appears to, I started to open this, appears to be the uh, tripod and what I went for my tripod on Amazon was this Sony right here uh, handy cam shooting gear because two reasons one I have a Sony camera I'm recording with now and two this one seemed to be a pretty good value for what it was um, I could have went with a cheaper one this one I think was I want to say fifty dollars this is a lot better than what the camera is sitting on right now recording this video so it's got the standard, well, let's see. see this, this camera is, or this tripod, oh yeah, that's a nice smooth flip. Again, this might end up, <laughs> I don't know, I wish I was recording with this one. It's got the bubble level and stuff so I can make sure the tripod's level. Um, but a regular 3 8 I think that's a, well, that's a regular camera stud there that you would mount cameras on. All the camera things have that. So I have to figure out, how I am going to mount or what, you know, what I'm going to do to mount the tracker on this. But that's no problem because it's a little bit of ingenuity to figure it out. And now I have to figure out why it won't go back on. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So that's the tripod I have. This is the VCTR640 Sony tripod. Okay. So on the tripod, it should be in this bag here. On the tripod is going to be a box that I am mounting, like a project box. That's gonna hold all the, you know, electronics and stuff. No, that's for my, that's for my jet ski. Wrong one. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Oh, let's see. It should be in here. This is the, the box I ordered with a lot of the parts. And uh, this should have a lot of the art. Arduino or whatever in here as well as yes the project box clear okay so I'm going to show you a couple of things that I decided on for power and stuff like that just to give you an idea what I did making a mess here so this right here seemed to be a decent project box and I, I'll have to go back to the video and or the uh Amazon, look at the price on this. Because I tried to be just as cheap as possible. So this is gonna be the enclosure that houses all the electronics. Okay, and it should be clear. And I've seen these before at Skycraft in Orlando. I should have bought them when I saw them. Yes, it's the same thing I saw at Skycraft. So this is gonna be the um, project box, and that's going to somehow mount to my tripod so that I can keep the Arduino and drill holes, Arduino, whatever you want to call it, Arduino. Drill the holes, uh, put the battery in here, everything. Battery, I'll show you what I have. Uh, so that's a clear, 
uh, SPF6T. I guess the link is in the description where I chose. That's the project box, okay. Here is the SunFounder Ethernet Shield, which we showed in the video, right? That's in there, haven't even opened that yet. Um, but you saw those parts. You saw that I have the, this is the, uh, okay, DC, DC, okay. Here's your Arduino here that I showed you. This is the uh, Chen Sui, the uh, power pole strip, right? So I could plug a couple things in. And with that, I bought Anderson power poles. And the reason I bought these was because in my head, or what I'll normally do, is I'll just wire strip, or you know, strip wire, wire nut, electrical tape, things like that. And I didn't want to do that. I wanted it to be halfway decent. So I'll crimp on the power poles, you know, for different things. And that way it's a little bit more organized when I have them on here, okay? Uh, let's see, so these parts you're, you're aware of, let's see, what's this? This is the, um, yeah, interface here that I got. So we saw that, we're gonna see that when we put it all together. This right here is a DC to DC converter. And I thought I ordered two of these. Maybe I didn't, I probably did not. But this is uh, a DC DC converter. So in would be 12 volts, out would be five. So that's easy enough to put a couple power poles on here, right? For 12 volt from my power source. And look what it's got on the other side. A USB, micro USB. 5 volt, right? So what do I need with that is what I decided to use, contrary to what I said in the video about the little TP link, uh, you know, little Wi-Fi hotspot that I showed you. I already have this. I've had this for years. This is a TP link battery powered wireless router. Okay. So I could do the same thing with this ethernet into here and I'll have Wi-Fi and this has a battery and also, but this will plug in like this, okay? Now there should be a six, uh, um, a converter here for six volt, and I don't see that. So already I'm wondering, did I order that? There it is, see I have to cut this in here now because I found a whole nother, <laughs> I don't even know where my stuff is. I've, I've just been over a month ago, uh, and um, I <laughs> forgot what I ordered. And um, so there's some parts here, let's see. What is this? Find out what this is. You know, there's parts for jet skis here that I, I haven't been able to ride. And there's, uh, oh, that is the, um, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the, the, the orientation little, uh, you know, uh, what do you call it? The direction, up, down, left, right, you know. Okay, so that's that. What's this? This is, there it is. So this is the 12 volt to 6 volt adapter that I was looking for. So I have 12 volt to 5 volt, which is going to run my little router, and 12 to 6 volt, which is going to run the servos. The servos operate at 6 volts. So we have this here, and see this is why I want that box to mount it all in. So here you go. This is the 12 to 6 volt right there. So I'll put some power poles on here. We have uh, input from the power poles, from the bioino battery, output to the servo controller, okay? That's where that's going. Uh, what else? What else would, uh, oh, here's the GPS breakout right there, little GPS Adafruit, okay? Anything else in this one? Nope. Okay, and you may be thinking, I know I got it already. You idiot, what do I care about? I don't want to see what you bought. I'm just, we're, we're, we're progressing here, okay? That is not a part. That is not a part for anything ham radio related. Now for power, I chose BioNO. And the reason is two things. One, you know, if you don't, if you're not familiar, Bioino power is like what every ham is using out in the field now. And I have the 12 amp hour, but check this out. This is going to be a little 6 amp hour. And this battery has power poles on it already. So I can plug this into my little strip there for the power poles. And now I can, you know, 
branch out my uh, power for different things. Um, this this right here, this battery should last a long time. I mean, this thing should really power, uh, you know, for for days on the satellite tracker. I mean, I don't see this thing. You know, what I'm noticing here though is I didn't realize it's it's barely it's not going to fit in that box. So. I will come up with a solution for that. Do I put the battery out of the box? I'm not sure. This is, see, this this now you can get an idea to make sure if you haven't ordered the parts yet that your battery. I thought this was. I, I thought I ordered the three, but this is the six. So three probably wouldn't have been enough. Maybe I don't think, but the three would fit in here. So I guess I didn't gauge one or the other. It's not gonna fit in here, but no big deal. I can strap it to something. I'll, I'll figure it out. That's part of this project is you know, and and I have the charger for that here charger for the bio -Eno. so uh, there you go 72 watt out watt hours that's 12 volt at 6 amp hour okay that's the bio -Eno power source now here is the servo city box and what I'm gonna say is this right now because this kind of bothered me and if I'm wrong you guys got to tell me if you ordered parts for this in the beginning I want your opinion what happened was I don't remember them wanting $250 for what I showed you on the video that was a hundred and something dollars. And it turns out that when I went to go order those parts, they're like, I guess because they got hit with a few orders from the video and they're like, oh yeah, well, no, you don't want that part. That doesn't come with a servo. That's just a tilt bracket for 70. You got to buy the servo. And, oh, so buy this. It's 140. Okay. Oh, and then you want it assembled? That's another 30. So now it come out to like 280 something dollars for these two parts. If you bought these and they weren't that situation, let me know because I think they changed something or I just missed it when I made the video. Okay, I might have missed something. I remember that the, the original documents from Elwood said SPT 400 and the CM 785 HP servo gearbox, but now they're telling me, you know, you got to buy, you got to pay extra to have it assembled. You got to buy a, what's the point of having a tilt system with no servo? You know, I, I don't get it. Maybe I'm wrong. So I also got some C channel. This is like your your standard uh, mounting channel that you can pretty much you see the holes in it. This is pretty much you know all the servos fit in there, so you can kind of get it mounted where you need to. And there's peanuts all over in here. We're just gonna clean this up after. I'll show you a couple things of what I bought here. So yeah, I, if if you bought exactly what I said and it was like a hundred and something, you might want to check your your packages because. Uh, they might not be right, okay? Like for instance, here is, this looks to be the, that's a lot bigger than I thought it would be, okay? This is the uh, CM, or the SPG 785 CM servo power gearbox, right? So basically, there it is, right? That's the gearbox. Now, what's gonna happen is this is going to mount in that C channel, right? You know, get screwed in like that, and it's going to turn the, you know, the L the uh, azimuth. Then there's another one for tilt for the elevation. Okay, so let me show you a couple other things I bought here because oh, there's I got another small C channel. I also bought the hardware kit. These are little screws that are like you know with the Allen wrench, and they'll pretty much fit in all the different holes for the C channel. So uh, you know, good to have that another C channel. So I can maybe mount one like, you know, on, I don't know, one this way, one this way. I'm not sure how that's going to go. We've got to figure it out. Um, where's my tilt? Here's my tilt here. So the tilt is what I'm talking about. This should be SPT 400, which is not what you need. You need like the SPT 785, whatever. Okay. Let's take a look at this. Oh, these are Ziploc. No need to rip the bag guys. Like I just did. There you go. Now this is the SPT 400 tilt system, right? Again, SPT 400 tilt system. The guy says, no, that's not what you need because it doesn't come with that. doesn't come with this. It, it's just the tilt. And I said, well, that's silly, but there it is. This is going to be for the elevation. Okay. So I'll show you an example. Let me take this uh, channel out of here so we can see, because uh, you know, I'm opening with, with this with you a month and a half after I told you it'd be a video and you guys are yelling at me for videos and screaming at me. So I'm just trying to keep you up to date. Um, okay, so this is gonna be azimuth. 
And then this is gonna mount elevation and in, in conjunction, tilt up, down, turn like this, okay? That's how that's gonna work. So there's two of them. They both have a servo. They both have the gears. 25, 5-25 uh, ratio for these. And uh, the only hardest part, not the hardest, but I'll have to figure out how to mount my Yagi onto here or make a base platform or something like that. That's something I'm gonna have to figure out. Do I have any more parts in here? Because I'm notorious for buying things and throwing them away. No. So there you go. There's the two servos. That's what you should have right there. Now, if you again, if you ordered this and there's not, no motor in there, well, you got a problem. And I apologize for that because I don't think it was like that. But you got to put this on. You got to put the gearbox in, solder it in, and all that. Uh, that wasn't my original plan. I figured the SPT 400 came with everything at $69, but apparently not. So... That's what we're working on right now um, because I need to get back. Now I'm, I'm caught up with everything else. Now it's time to finish this project. So this is part two uh, to show you. I did get the parts. This video is real. It's not magic. It's not, you know, so, uh, okay, there you are. There's the parts. And uh, the next video, I want to figure out how I'm going to attach to that tripod. That's what I want to figure out. First, how to get it on that tripod. And then once I get it kind of built, or know where the parts are going to align, then the next video after that, I'm going to just dump the code into that and, and mount these things on position and get them moving. You know, let's see something move here. Uh, that'll be that situation. So thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. Yes, it is coming. I'm not going to try to take on anything else till I get this finished. 73 KJ4 YZI.